Hey guys, you're Marty Geek. In this video, I'm playing Fire Emblem Warriors for the Nintendo Switch. This game just came out this Friday for $59.99. Um, keep in mind, if you're going to actually download this from the eShop store, it's going to be 13.1 gigabytes. So make sure you have enough space there. But let's go ahead and start here. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and start a new game so you guys, guys can have an idea how to how this game actually functions when it starts because it's pretty cool you can actually select your characters uh right now i'm gonna go ahead and play as liana because i already start playing it so i can get a little bit used to the controls uh he got easy normal and hard right now i'm gonna go choose normal and here you got game style which is casual a more casual style in which fallen allies will return in the next chapter and this one is more not forgiven because this one a classic style in which falling allies will not automatically return in the next in the next uh chapter so you know what let's go casual there and here it says slow and steady take more time to examine strategic information like level up and all of that but right now for the purpose of this video i'm going to go ahead and do quick and efficient keep the action flowing you know turning off level up windows and then blah 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 let's go ahead and click that and let's go click yes i'm gonna go and choose this one right here okay let's go and get started here one thing to keep in mind this game actually looks pretty damn good i was going to up the volume a little bit there look at that uh, i think this game is also also available for the nintendo 3ds i think it is i think it came out at the same time as the 3ds i don't know if it's actually available on other consoles okay so there you go okay so here are the controls uh y for regular attacks x for strong attacks b for dodge and a for special warrior special attack so but keep in mind when you combine the buttons, it, uh, they, they do perform like combos too. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> so if you do combine the buttons, you will actually get different type of uh, combos as well. Okay, we got a monster here. Of course here you can move the camera around. You see there? Yep, and here, of course, it lets you know that you can actually switch characters. If I tap right here, I could switch to this character right here, which is cool. But now, keep in mind, not always is going to work like that because some characters you're not going to be able to switch to um, during combat. Uh, but a lot of times you will. So we're going to try to get to the middle over there. Over here, you can actually see the map and where you're going to. So we need to go over here. And over here. I think if you press right here, no, not yet. Because the game is barely starting. So right now we don't have control of all the, uh, the special features and functions of the buttons. So we're just starting to play this game. You see they're really cool. Okay, so I think we're supposed to go through here, right? So you see there, another player became playable. There you go, she became playable. So you see there, um, every time that like a character becomes playable, you're gonna see it, like a little pop up saying that hey, the cha this character is now playable. You might want to play her. There you go. Where am I supposed to go? I think uh, we're supposed to go, yeah, over here. And there you go. Oh yeah, baby. There, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Okay. So over here, you, of course, the the it won't, it won't right now. I can't show you guys, but when you start the game, when the game officially starts, right now this is basically like a, a tutorial intro for the game. But when it officially starts, you can actually zoom in on the map here. 
Right now, it's not going to let me do it because we're bar barely starting this game. So, right now, I'm supposed to go d through this door, but it won't let me. So, I guess I'm going to have to kill some more enemies over here. Like this guy. Yeah. But basically, once the game starts, the gameplay is almost the same. The only thing is that, depending on the character you're using, you're going to have uh, different special powers. Okay. And of course, later on, you will be able to upgrade your character. So let's go switch. Okay, she's the main character, so... Yeah, we can't go through there. Where are we going, dude? There you go. Nice. There you go, the door opened. That's the door we were trying to go through. to the other way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come on. There you go. No running away this time. Now, now we get to see a very cool scene, cut scene there, which looks pretty damn cool. I gotta say, the, the cutscene here in this game looks really nice. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the prologue right here. So, of course, this game, if you played Fire Emblem games before, I I don't usually play Fire Emblem games because uh, um, a lot of times I don't like the game style because I think a lot of the Fire Emblem have like different styles. One of Some of them are like like more RPG-ish, other ones are like more like hack and slash, like this game, other ours are like more strategic, um, and what I really liked about this game, that's the reason that I got it, is because it's like more action-wise, you know, it's not, it's not like a turn-based RPG or a strategic type of game, so that's the reason why I decided to go ahead and try out this game, because I saw the trailer, and it actually looked pretty damn awesome, so I, I said, you know what, let's go ahead and give it a try, and uh, I guess hey, really, really cool, really nice. The the effects, the cutscenes are really beautiful. The story, of course, is it's always you know Fire Emblem games always have a great story. Even though, like I said, I'm not a huge Fire Emblem um, follower, but you know this game looks pretty good. So. Okay, but let's go ahead and do it this time. I'm happy to oblige. Happy to oblige. So of course we can cut, um, skip the cutscenes right here if I want. Right now I'm gonna go ahead and leave this cutscene right here because it's about to end. There, there you go. We're being interrupted here by some dark forces. Sound the alarm. There you go. Uh oh. If she's up there, then mother's in danger. Mother's in danger. <laughs> well, you got to see how the cutscenes actually look. So from now on, I think I'm gonna have to skip the cutscenes a little bit if you want to see a little bit more gameplay. Um, here you got autoplay, which is good that it has it. If you want to disable autoplay, you just click right there. But then you would have to skip on your own, which kind of is annoying. So I really recommend to just leave it autoplay. Oh, another thing to keep in mind is that if you prefer to um, play these games with um, Japanese dialogue, uh, you can actually do it. You can go to the store or uh, click the download link or downloadable link, which is on the on the settings, or go to the eShop store and download it for free. It's available right now to download for free. 
but the problem is is that it's like 2.5 gigabytes in size yeah i know i know okay yeah it's gonna tell me you know some guys there uh right here i think right now we could click right here see and we can actually go and see the mission list here if we click right here click y and battle situation right here we're going to mother defeat monster blocking escape point there you go so there you have it and we gotta go to rescue our mother there you go okay got it so just letting you know when these bars are complete that means that you're ready to use her special power There you go. She has a pretty cool attack. Anyway. So we gotta defeat that monster right there. And also to lock to him, to lock to him, just press over here. And every time you move around, like you see there, every time you move around, even dodge, you're always gonna have him locked in. So keep that in mind. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that freaking awesome? Look at that. That looks amazing. There you go. Man, that special power looks amazing. Okay, I got it. And he's stunned. Just go ahead and go crazy on him. There you go. He's down. Mission complete. Okay, let's go ahead. So we gotta get out of town, and our out of town point is over there. So right now, if you click right here, you can actually see, like, see there. It also zooms in into the map, which is a cool feature to have. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, we gotta kill these gatekeepers. There you go, mission complete. Just kill that sucker. There you go, we got some health, health, uh, regeneration spell there. <laughs> gonna keep on going. Right now, like you see here, we cannot switch to another character because we don't have that option yet. But later on, it will become available. Okay. Right now, I'm skipping these because if you. Just if you just start fighting everybody, you'll never finish. There you go. We got. Oh yeah. Somebody's over here trapped, so we gotta go over there. We got a submission to do, who you? There you go, come on. There you go. There you go, so we saved him on our way back, you know, to completing our mission. So now we could go ahead and go ahead back again to our mission. Try to escape this place. Okay, dude, let me get out of here. So the thing is... I'm skipping these guys because the gu the ones that really matter is the monsters. Those with the mark on the top there. Those are the ones that really matter. The, the ones that you really need to beat. There you go. And is there anyone here? No. There you go. Mission complete. Uh oh. 
There we go. We got the generate the special power. And the, the audio. Audio is incredible. Oh yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, nerdy. Look at here, look at here. Look who we got here. Holy crap. <laughs> okay, I guess this is a woman's job. Holy crap. No. There you go. He, could, he took care of it. He took care of it. Thanks for the help. And you are? Marth. Marth. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. She looks badass. Huh? Our allies are on their way. There you go. So look at that. We can switch to Marth and kick ass. Let's go ahead and... We need to go this way, right? Marth? This way. First of all, let's go and see how her powers. Nice. Oh. Mission started. Nice. Her powers are pretty cool. This is Marth, so I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be using her that much because she's like a you know like a, oh look at that she dropped they dropped something there because I guess she's like a special character. There you go. Incredible. Man. But I think we're done here. Mission complete. I think you'll be safe now. I must take my leave. Okay, I think we gotta miss finish this now. Well we gotta go with our characters now. Let's go escape. Escape. You see over here? Right there. there. So of course, as you keep on playing, you're gonna keep on upgrading your characters. And she disappeared. She already kicked ass. So, nope, not way. that way. Where it's this way. There you go. So we're done. You arrived at the escape hall. There you go, so battle results, you got the victory award there, clear time, enemies, total, gold, and click next. And this is where you're going to be um, choosing your other missions, like right now we already did these, right, the first one, um, over here, this is chapter one, the one that we just finished, and you can see the stars right there. We could replay them again too, and right now I only got two stars, so I guess I'm gonna have to play like hard, so like to get three stars most likely. And here is, let me see, this is number three, chapter two, which we haven't played yet, and that's it. So you got the map, you got the back button, and that's it. You choose, yeah, go ahead, select this mission. And now we go to chapter two. And that's it, guys. I'm going to leave the video here. I just want to share this uh, little gameplay with you guys just to let you know that how this game actually performs here on the Nintendo Switch. And I got to say, looks incredible. It looks really, really, really nice. So if you're a huge fan of Fire Emblem, I think you're going to be a huge fan of this version of the Fire Emblem on the Nintendo Switch. It looks pretty good. And, of course, it's... It's more action, action pace than the other ones, like strate the strategic ones. So this one actually looks pretty good. It's fast, which fast pace, which I like, and uh, looks pretty cool. Graphics looks awesome, and the story, of course, is gonna be really, really nice. And that's it, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload another video, most likely in desktop mode. That way you guys can see how it looks out actually in desktop mode or in TV mode. So thanks for watching the video guys. Till next time.